In today's video, I'm going to bust 20 myths in Lumia Legacy, which to some, you might have not known the answer to them already, but let's get in into the video. The myth number one, can you use Gleam Pity in the Gopi Pond? Well, after trying, the answer is no, you cannot. You just get a random Gopi skin. Myth number two, if your game crashes, you can reconnect on your last encounter. Well, in the past, people lost a lot of rare Lumians, and it was disappointing because of disconnecting. But t Bradham actually fixed the rumor, and yes, you get back to your last encounter. On to myth number three: Can you use a Wisp bottle on a Rainbow Wisp Lumian? Well, the answer is basically no. It does not work, and it also says it on the Wisp bottle's description. On to myth number four: Are Rainbow Lumians classified as Gleaming Lumians? Well, the only way to test this myth out is by going to this NPC which gives you a boost token if you bring it any type of Lumion that's gleaming. So I went on my alt with a Rainbow Vari and the NPC does not give you a boost token so the answer to the myth is no. <coughs> on to myth number 5, can Booneri become the raid boss? Well the answer to that myth is yes, the Booneri actually works in the raid battles. Myth number 6, can you get past the corrupt room in battles? Well, to Daskin and Protogon you can, but some people figured out a way on how to avoid a corrupt Ikazune battle, and our man he made a video about it, and you need the Mocho saddle to get past these two NPCs to beat the gym, get, get to Rowdy Ranch, and you can also get a Route 5 Gamma Pagoda Twilight. So yes, you can get past the corrupt Ikazune battle. On to myth number 7, are your parents still safe in Lumion Legacy? Well, I don't know what type of myth it, this one is, but in Pokemon Brick Bronze, at the beginning of the story, your parents go missing. But what happens to them in Lumion Legacy? Oh, nothing. They are just at the Atlantean Museum, so yes, they are safe. Myth number 8, do you keep your mouth after pressing new game? Well, a year ago, Hydrellus made a video on this myth, and after he pressed new game, he actually got to keep his Valkyrie saddle, so the answer to the myth is yes. This is actually pretty cool though, because you can probably beat Lumion Legacy way faster. On to myth number 9. Can you jump in Lumion Legacy? Well, I'm going to press the spacebar, and let's see. Nothing fucking happens. Who the fuck came up with this myth? On to myth number 12. Can you release the starter you get from the beginning? Well, the answer to the question is, I don't know, we're, we'll test this out, so here's my uh, Valkyrie. I know it's not gonna release, so I'm sorry to y'all, but the answer is no. Why the f- What the f- Can you find something that's not gleaming on Gleam Pity? The answer to this myth lies in this video I made over a year ago. So, basically I encountered my Pity, and I found a Corrupt. But that doesn't affect the pity and then I found a Gleam Cosmere, so the answer to the myth is yes, you can actually find something that's not gleaming on pity, which is surprisingly weird. On to myth number 12, can you soft reset for Gamma Lumions? Well, the only soft reset Lumions that are left right now are Cephalops, Monogar, and Elephage. And to finish their mastery, you have to capture the soft reset versions, which means you can't get a gamma from soft resetting now, so no. But in the Jolly Village 2021 to 2022 event, there was a bug when catching the AK loss. It actually appeared again, and people started soft resetting it. And this man's actually got a soft reset gamma AK loss. Great job. Myth number 13, can you still surf in Lumion Legacy anymore? When Lotus Sun Beach came out, I made my most popular video, and it was surfing in Lumion Legacy. Back then it really worked, but does it still work now? Well, it's kind of weird, because how you do this is by having at least two saddles. One of them has to be the Samarine saddle you get from the Lotus and Beach, and the other one has to be one that lets you go through the walls, for example, Kiego or Mocho. What I do is I throw my Lumion in the water like this, and then wear my Kiego saddle, and then select to equip the Samarine, but I still wear the Kiego. Uh, approach this wall as close as possible and then unmount it and then mount into Samarine when dropped in the water. So yes, this myth still works. Myth number 14 is Tess and Lumion Legacy. Well, in the jo Jolly Village there's a snowman dressed up as Tess with penguin guys and the same accessories which is 
honestly still an I don't know answer because it could be or it could not be this. Myth number 15. You can glitch out of the map. Well, with a mount that goes through walls, yes you actually can. Myth number 16. Do you lose your boosts when pressing new game? Well, I have two boosts on this account and let's use them. I'm closing the game and after pressing new game, yes I actually get to keep my boosts. So that's pretty nice. Myth number 17. Can you find soft reset roamings without unlocking them? Well, basically, I'll just say the answer is no, but you could actually find Halloween Cephalops without unlocking the Cephalops. Myth number 18, does your Lumion look different in the fog weather? Well, the neon glows differently and it's a lot better, so yes, your Lumion looks different in the fog. On to myth number 19, can you get your Lumions back if you lose them? Well, to this myth, the answer is pretty weird, to be honest, because in some situations, devs actually restore the Lumions of people, which is why we saw these GA Jirashachis and Gleam Dust kits that were received from a developer, but in most cases, they don't. So I'll just assume the answer to the myth is no. <coughs> myth number 20. Are you adopted in Lumion Legacy? Well, let's test this out. Oh, hey there. Are you adopted? What? What the fu- Okay, so that's it for today's video. Make sure to like and sub because that's it. Peace out.